welcome to Exploring Microsoft Word 2019 User Interface. What we are going to do today is do a high-level overview of the Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Word 2019 User Interface. Currently, the Microsoft uh, that I am utilizing and showing you that I'm running here is Microsoft Office uh, 2013. But throughout the course, the Office we will be using will range from 2016 to 2019. So I just wanted to make sure that I was clear and transparent with that. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So here I have my Microsoft uh, Word. And what you notice that I have here at the top is known as the ribbon. Okay. The ribbon uh, is something that is consistent throughout across Microsoft's products where they utilize it a lot. Here in, in my ribbon, I have my home button. I can insert different things. I have my page layout. I have references that I can go through. I have the design option where I can specify themes that I would like to use. And the themes usually come in handy in case of a company has different color marks, um, color combination that they would like to utilize, etc. I have mailings where I can specify create labels, mail merge, and select recipients for a lot of those things. Underneath that, I have a review option where I can review information in my Word document. I can view different uh, documents and formats, developer mode. I can add, add different buttons, different functionalities. I can create a form here where I can send to users and users will fill out that form and I can capture information in real time. If you have Acrobat downloaded on your computer, you will notice that you have different Acrobat options that are also built into work with your Microsoft uh, Word. And at the bottom, which is a very uh, useful other option, you have the different types of pages that you can take a look at. So in my case here, I have page one of one. It even shows me my word counts. If I was to write once upon a time, you will notice that the count automatically changes here for me. I can uh, do a no proofing. So by clicking on this, I can actually do a spell check without having to go to a uh, review i can take a look at um i can run macros just by clicking on this section here all right to my right hand side you'll notice i have the different views that i can take a look at read mode print layout and web layout these are the same modes that i can also take a look at under page layout uh as well but the bottom gives you the most three popular ones uh that is accessible to you under page layout you can change margins you can change orientation you can change the size of your uh, document. You can change the columns. And then the view, you can specify the view similar to what it looks like at the bottom here. Right? Another cool thing is you can actually customize your ribbon, which we will be going over at a later juncture in this uh, lecture. If I click on this drop down menu here, this is my customized quick access toolbar. I said ribbon, I meant quick access toolbar. You can customize your quick access toolbar to do a lot of cool things for you. So this is currently what is available via my uh, customization of my quick access toolbar. So if there are specific things that you often use in your Word, uh, you would definitely want to make sure you customize it to meet those needs. Next is on my uh, top right hand side, you'll notice if I click on the drop down here for the ribbon, I can auto hide the ribbon. I can show tabs that exist in the ribbon. I can show tabs and commands. And this is something that often confuse people because if I click on auto hide, you will notice that my ribbon goes away. If I click back on it, it appears, but if I click out, it's gone. That is because we selected auto hide. So to remove that, you definitely have to click back on the little uh, arrow and select show tabs and commands to bring your ribbon back so you can view it, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the back page panel. If I click on file, you notice that I have various options here. Underneath it, I have info. So info is what shows me the different info uh, related to my page. So I can take a look at um, my information about my document. If I click on new, I can take a look at all. I can create a new document or I can use a template document that's also available to me. I can open any previous information that I've had. I can save. Sorry about that. I can save uh, documents, okay, uh, in different files and formats. I can share documents with users or post them online or present that online. I can export 
information uh, utilizing a PDF or XPS or any type of the format that uh, Word supports. I can go to account where I can take a look at information about my account. I can go to options where you will notice that I can set and specify a lot of unique things about my Word document. I can change the general overview. So let's say I wanted to use a different theme or background. I can click on light gray. I can change the background to, let's say, clouds. When I click OK, you will notice that I now have clouds in the back end. All right. The next thing that I can also do is the following. All right. I can go to display. Okay. In display, I can change the page display options. I can change the formatting marks on the screen. I can change the printing options. Under proofing, this is where I can change and specify my uh, proofing or my grammatical corrections or autocorrects. I can uh, change that as well. Okay. Um, save. I can specify how I want my uh, document to be saved. So do I want it to automatically save and recover every 10 minutes? I can actually change that to one or two minutes, which is, saves you a lot of headache, believe it or not, especially if you're like me, someone who often forgets to save the work that they're working on. And then it will show you where the folder for your auto recovery file is. And if you want the folder to be different, you can actually uh, change that as well. Okay. Um, and then you can, again, specify where you want the documents to be automatically saved and recovered. On the language, you can change the language so that way your keyboard layout can uh, format to that. But be mindful of that because if you're, the operating system you're running does not support that, um, you may run into some issues. Under advanced, you can customize your editing options, your copy and paste option, customize ribbon. You can customize the ribbon however you like. In the quick access toolbar, you can also customize the quick access toolbar. Under add-ins, you can download or bring it in for any uh, fun and cool functionality that Office has to offer. So in my case, uh, one of the things that I think I brought, I'm going to show you how to bring in, is uh, Grammarly. Because a lot of people are using Grammarly now to automatically correct and check what's in. So if I click on Go, right, you'll notice that I can add my Grammarly. And I can click OK. So Grammarly is automatically added to my um, document. So that way it can automatically check information for me, right? Which is a you know unique and useful add-in in my opinion, right? Uh, under the Trust Center, this is where you can actually go and actually specify all the different trust options, such as security, uh, protecting your document, securing it, uh, specifying the privacy options that you would like to create. So that way users can't just come in and use your document as they please. So this is a high level overview of the user interface for Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching.